So welcome back to another episode of Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. So this is gonna be a bit late. I know the I didn't I wasn't home during the weekend, so I couldn't release this episode earlier. But here we are on Monday. So in the previous episode, we had it was one of my favorite episodes so far. We had lo a love hotel accident because who was it? Was it um it was Kim right? Uh, Kimura, who Kimura yeah who accidentally booked a love hotel thinking it was a uh, normal hotel and shenanigans happened and then we saw them almost get cancelled for some obsessed fan hater whatever it is figuring out that Kano is actually the same idol who used to be in Sandals so they almost got cancelled for that but they did what's one of the best advices for anyone on the internet and that's just ignore it and they performed still without issuing an actual apology or anything like that which is a good way to tackle it you usually shouldn't be posting apologies so unless something severe happens but that's another topic but um yeah they just went on stage performed and it was successful and Kiwi was being a G and it was just a great, great episode. So I'm excited to see where this episode takes us because we are going into the final stretch, I think. Wait, which episode was the previous one? It was episode 8. So does it have 12 episodes or 13? However many it has, it's going to be only a few left in the season. So I'm sad, but I'm also excited to see how it concludes. So if you want to watch this Uncut and Unblood, it's going to be on my Patreon, which is down in the description. And without further ado, let's go into Jellyfish Can Swim in the Night, episode 9. Uh, this sounds like it's gonna be a sad episode already. Finally, Kano's background. I don't think that's too bad of a dream. I feel like that's a pretty normal dream for a child. I am excited, Jelly! <laughs> Take a look at the reality. 100k! Here we are! Oh, sorry. Now what? Makes sense because that was Kano's dream from what we've seen and now the scene at the beginning talking about their dreams and stuff like that. I'm guessing it's gonna be more so focused on what Kano's dream is gonna end up being. Interesting. Ends of hell. It's interesting seeing all of them grow. The only one is Kano is. It feels like she's being a bit left behind because of her own um, lack of ambition. Or not lack of ambition, maybe lack of a goal, of a concrete goal. Oh, 
それに母親との関係だよな I wanna know more about her mom and the other、um, the sandals、まあ、話したら分かってくれるんじゃないかそうかなあ,あそれにさマヒルの人生はマヒルのものだ、yep. 100% 早川ゆきねお母様についてですかあうんけどどうして急にまあいろいろとありましてあそうですね人にはいろんな事情がありますもんねブラウ素直なのはこういう時助かるなそれじゃあ手短に説明します、ね、Look at those Look at those posters and What are they called? どういうことです早川ゆきねさんこそがナノさんの才能を見せてください You asked for it. Do I never made public? Makes sense. Hmm? Look, idiot. アイドルはタバコも吸わないし彼氏もいないのが当たり前じゃないですかだからこうしてさらされるのって自業自得だと思うんですよね今から3年ちょっと前に突然現れたアカウントで証拠と一緒に次々とスキャンダルを暴露し始めたんですそれで実はこのアカウントの黒幕が雪音お母様なんじゃないかってサンフラワードールズが大役として抜擢独立した事務所が圧力に負けないためにはこれしかなかったんだろうってあでも随分前に投稿止まってるはいノノタンが炎上して賛同が活動休止になった月から動いてませんあ心臓は闇の中ですがファンの間ではこう言われているんです早川ゆきねは天国の扉と地獄の扉両方の鍵を握ってる You know, I love, love when anime tackles the, or any media tackles the topic of, especially, especially the idol side of, like an idol industry, right? Whether it's Japanese or Korean, because it's such an interesting look into it, because of the, first of all, the parasocialness of it, and second of all, the entire idol, as in you, someone you idolize、um, type, like, side of it, because. I remember back in the day when I used to listen to K pop, there was some idol, I don't even remember who it was, but who got caught smoking and people were giving him shit, right? And there are people in the comments saying, oh, he's just a human, who cares if he smokes? It's just his decision. And at the end of the day, to me, that's a bit naive to say, oh, it's his decision, he's just, just a human, he's an adult, because you. If you become an idol, you need to be, you need to know that you're g o n n a be setting an example for a lot of people and especially a lot of young people. And you need to be prepared to act the way you like to be the example human being or like the idol to another person, right? So to me, I'm always split on this. On, on one side, yes, it, you are your own person, you can make your own decisions. On the other hand, you have a lot of eyes on you. Who are gonna idolize you, who are gonna take you as, as someone who they want to become, right? And especially young people. So, to me, I like when media tackles it because I w a n t to see what their take on it is. That's, that's my take on it. You need to be careful what you do, even like you need to be more、um, careful than a normal person is. This was seven minutes in. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, cute. Get out of it. Udeno Babunga, Kuzreta Mamo, Kuzate. Dajobu. Mahirino and Avidoka, Joto Kuzreta Gurado, Nakunara Nikara. Homesugidate. Jit it, Tayo. Mahiroa, what a show reader, don't they? Oh, cute. What a show, Mahirino Koto. They're so cute. あの作家のちゃん、私、言わなきゃいけないことがあって。あえ何急に早川ゆきねさんから。ああ。かのちゃんのお母さん
Oh yeah! You know, I kind of forgot about that. Yeah, obviously. I was about to say that. I think this this is a conversation for in person. That's good. That's good. I like that she's telling that. Everything. Obviously, the correct decision. She was just bulletproof. Let's see it. From the opening. Let's see. How twisted is she? Oh! An MMD? That's cool. Mm. So is it gonna be like an MMD animation or is it gonna be actually um, retroscoped or rigged? That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. That doesn't sound too bad. I guess it is competition though. <laughs> that you would be um, aiding. どうして私がってその一緒としたら彼女と同じグループってことがああ、なのかのことね。全く関係ないわ。あなたたちのライブを見て閃いなの。最後の絵素晴らしかったわ。みんなは言う。だから。You're I actually have no idea what what the correct choice here is. My pride would say obviously don't take it because it's competition. But it could be an incredible recognition and push. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to go into a... Like, I don't want to... Because I feel like this entire show has been telling us that she's a bad guy, but I feel like... I don't want to go into it with the notion that, oh, she's obviously going to do something twisted. I honestly am open to her actually being a okay person, but just clashing with clashing ideals with, like, Nonoko and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't want to write her off just yet. Check the contract before you do anything. Check the contract. Check the contract. Read it through carefully. Give it to a lawyer. Let him check it out completely. Let's see. She is. She is. 
かせる声をしてるこれは天性のものよあ、本当ええ、私が保証するわ父さんにも私の歌届くからさあ、どうかしらねあ,あ、ファミリープロブレムスこんな感じでいかがでしょう似合ってるわよ、カノ今日からあなたは立花なのかよ、うんうん The framing her to be like a really sus character, but I don't know. I wonder if there's more to her. Oh, well, that's the politics of J Idols. That's true. She's similar to Saito. From you know which one. Yeah, she does remind me of Saito a bit. But a, a bit more professional. One year later. Bad feeling. Really bad feeling. I have a pit in my stomach, man. Oh, 
しかして。Fuck you, Ria Takahashi. Fuck you. それじゃあ進捗報告だね。まず勝ったけどタイトル以外はほぼできたよ。じゃあ次はあのさかのちゃん。んうん。どうしたマヒル。Okay. Um. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, I had I had a feeling that it wasn't her mom who was uh on the channel because I felt like. That was that would be a bit too obvious. It it felt like it was building up to be something else. I was trying to divert our, our attention uh, away from something else happening. It feels like her mom is definitely not like a model mom or in any way, shape, or form. It seems like it seems like she is a bit of a dick, but it doesn't. I don't think she is as bad as the show made it out to be in the beginning. Um, whew, uh, yeah. I think she's just extremely, extremely hell bent on having a group succeed and wanting to see the group that she nurtures come to like a popularity of having a Tokyo Dome performance, right? So, yeah, she just seems like she's a bit lost in her work,、um, above all else, at least so far. So, man, Meru seems like she's. I don't know. I don't want to say too much because I don't know. I'm guessing she's pretty young, and she seems like a dick right now. But I don't know what why she is like that. I don't know if she, like <laughs> I feel like she's too young to criticize extremely, extremely harshly. But she, yeah, she seems like a bit of a dick. So I don't know. Interesting. I wonder. Like I really like how they portrayed her spiraling into like this oof mess of emotion when. Like the internet turns around, like turns on you. It's yeah.、Uh, ah、oh, man, I I I feel horrible. Sorry. I actually have to talk about something. Yes. This time I talked to you. Hmm. Yukine san from Sandou's illustrated design. Oh, I'm really sorry. I think that's good. Yeah, 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 I think that's good. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's not a bad decision, but I don't think it's a perfect decision either. Yeah, I feel like it's a fair decision. Hmm. Yeah, 
違うの何が楽しかったから違うの私もっと上手くなりたい私の絵のこと自分のこともっとちゃんと好きになりたいから yes. まあまあかの私たちの MV は、yes. 今回の仕事が終わった後また作ればそうですね来年にそういう問題じゃないみんな私を一人にするだ、yeah. 私のために絵を描くって言ってくれたのに結局あの人のために描くんだ結局Fuck you, Ria Takahashi. Why do you have to be so good? Don't let it slip. Nope, you're you're not getting out. Nope. Okay. Mm. Okay. I held it in. I held it in. It was struggling to <laughs> to stick onto my eyelashes, but no tears were shed. Jesus fucking Christ, man. I... Oh man. Okay. So I feel like I talk a lot about Ria Takahashi, but this is why I mention it so many times that she's my favorite VA. Of all time and i feel like it's pretty self-explanatory why um she's insane okay so apart from <laughs> the production let's talk about the actual episode um i love how they portrayed the difference between the girls so the main three girls our um or main three girls sorry um all three girls except for kano are focused on more so focused on personal growth and personal future and personal goals right and they they don't don't necessarily see jelly as a stepping stone but i feel like they want to improve themselves so they can then provide improvement that improvement to jelly right whereas kano seems like she is solely focused on jelly she only wants to elevate jelly she doesn't necessarily look for personal growth she looks like she looks for the growth of the group which <sighs> makes sense because she's been hurt so much and the environment she grew up in wasn't like the per perfect environment um so it makes sense but jesus christ you know what this anime reminds me a lot of has anyone seen sakurasa no pet no kanojo it reminds me a lot a lot especially this episode like being like just 
being a person who wants to do this cool project and wants to be noticed for by people for doing this cool project so you bring on another person who is going to help you out with this project and then that other person gets noticed but you don't oh, man that sucks that sucks yeah but it reminds me a lot about of this aspect of sakuraso um wow okay insane episode yeah that's that definitely my i feel like this episode or this series keeps getting better and better this is definitely my favorite episode by far and it's not even close um i had this pit in my stomach the entire episode so i think i have a feeling that was it yukine yukina her mom kano's mom is she's obviously bad but i don't think she's as bad as they're making it more or as bad as we thought i feel like she just wants to she's just a workaholic and she prioritizes work over anything else and she prioritizes getting a group up to like that she nourishes up to a standard that she desires and i feel like while she's a really bad like she seems like a really bad mom i think she is yeah she's not perfect but i feel like she's not as bad as we thought um mero on the other hand She's young, she's naive, she can learn to be better, but right now she's a bit of a dick from what we've seen. Um, she's crushing other people's dreams to accelerate her own dreams, so it's a bit of a yikes. Um, I don't want to be too harsh because, as I said, she's like, what, 15, 16? Um, but yeah. Also, I think that what Yoru did is a perfectly reasonable choice. As I said, she's obviously prioritizing personal growth and that would be a huge huge stepping stone for her while obviously not doing that would be a bit better for jelly probably as a group but it wouldn't have given a huge boost to or the opportunity to grow for um euro but this opportunity is gonna obviously help Yoru grow a lot both her name both in name in and in skill right so like having a lot of different projects that you can work on, even if they are different from what you're used to, is gonna help you grow as a artist a lot, a lot. So at the end of the day, while it is a tough choice to make, I feel like she chose something that she's not going to regret. So I feel like that's important. So I really, really like this decision. And I also really think it makes a lot of sense as to why Kano acted the way she did. And I can't blame her. Obviously, we know that she said some things that shouldn't that she shouldn't have said, but you can't blame her. So, yeah, as I said, incredible episode. Fuck me, man. Okay, um, Ria Takahashi, I hate you for making me cry, but this is gonna be all for me. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.